Thank you, Matt. We're moving now into our second health news topic of the week, and we're going to talk about the MIND diet. Studies indicate the MIND diet improves cognitive function. Cognitive, of course, talking about your mind. So, Trudy, let's talk briefly about this diet and the study results that have been recently released. It's, it's newly re released, and it is in the news, which is important for people to know that um, Alzheimer's is just something that's on oh. everyone's worry. Mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to have Alzheimer's. 44 million people worldwide have Alzheimer's at this point. And studies mm -hmm. show that 5% of people over 65 have Alzheimer's. Yeah. The Rush University Medical Center in Chicago released a study that was a five-year study involving 1,000 seniors aged 58 to 98. And they, wanted, they were measured for cognitive ability, your ability to remember and to think, um, and, and how they can improve that. And they tested three diets the DASH diet, the Mediterranean diet, and a new diet called the MIND, M-I-N-D diet. The results were really interesting in that the Mediterranean diet um, actually was just a little bit better at 54% of the people having a reduced risk. 53% showed a reduced risk on the MIND diet. And the DASH diet, which is an, uh, a hypotensive diet for people mm -hmm. who have high blood pressure, uh, came in only 39%. The, the point being at the bottom of this that it didn't matter of your age, your sex, your current weight or your genetic factors, the most important factor was food and what your diet was. And if you would follow the MIND diet just slightly, you didn't have mm. to be compliant. Even uh, with just a little bit of adherence to the diet, people had a 7.5 year uh, increase in their cognitive ability. So they, a, a 70 year old would think really? more like a 63.2 age year old person. So let, let's look at some of these uh, food that foods that um, would be considered part of the the mind diet. See green leafy vegetables two servings a week, vegetables plus or salad plus another vegetable something. Yeah a salad and at least one other vegetable every day, nuts to eat daily, um, almonds, hazelnuts, walnuts, berries was the only fruit recommended at least two times a week, that's kind of a, a low acidic or different? Low glycemic. Like low glycemic, okay. Mm -hmm. Low glycemic fruit. Um, whole grains, fish, poultry, olive oil, and red wine wrap it up. And again, uh, you, the adherence to that is most important. All the other diets you had to do it strictly to get mm -hmm. any result, and these as long as you made an effort. And there were five food groups, Jennifer, that they told you not to include. And you should include red meat, margarine and butter, cheese, anything sweet, dessert, pastries, and sweets, and fried foods. <laughs> Probably a few people at home right now saying, uh, I really like those. Can I have those in moderation? <laughs> <laughs> well, to increase your cognitive abilities, you might be willing to forgo. And the nice thing about, if you can find more information about the MIND diet, it is uh, that the sweets you can have five times a week, but no more than that. Right. So it's not complete avoidance. Well, don't forget, you can always find Dr. Trudy Pieper at her her uh, office in Johnstown, Ohio at Phoenix Wellness and the website is Phoenix Wellness 4, the number 4 you, you, Phoenix Wellness 4 you.com, correct? Right, dot correct. Com. And on my web website, I do have the, the Mind Diet. So if someone wants to go there and get the, more information about that, it is available on my website.